Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel and today in my video I will discuss regarding the Bloom filter in the Big Data Analytics. So Bloom filter is basically uh, comprised of a Bloom that is a, basically a vector and a hash function we use in this that is H. So basically this uh, Bloom filter is based on a simple concept like uh, there will be an array of 10 elements and this arrays will be indexed from 0 to 9 and on each index that is array of 0, array of 1, array of 2 likewise uh, we keep a bit that is 0 or 1 now this bit is uh, basically used for the space reduction instead of uh, putting all the ASCII values and so we in order to reduce the overhead we make use of a simple bit that is 0 or 1 uh, next we use a hash function that is hkx now this hash function is used so as to map each of this uh, m elements in the sample space that is s that we will see in the algorithm later so for good approximation and uh, a good estimate of the result we get we take this as k as a value of 2 that is h1x and h2x next uh, we have the total number of bits in the filter now this uh, filter will contain a number of bits so this bits will be the uh, amount of bits per data set or it can be the number of bits that will be in the data structure next uh, I talk about this uh, data set so what this data structure or data set actually in big data is so these are a set of uh, IP addresses so this IP address that we are getting it will be used for filtering out whether those IP those click from this IP address or request from this IP address has uh, already been earlier recorded or not and so uh, we uh, saw that we keep maintain a uh, bit position that is 0 or 1 so this uh, bit that is 0 or 1 acts as a pointer uh, to this IP address and so it will map then this to its memory address so a permanent storage would be allocated to this uh, next so this bloom filter is basically used to check whether the IP address that we are capturing or we are storing it is valid or invalid so this is the basic idea of this uh, bloom filter concept i will discuss regarding the uh, applications and example and bloom filter later so let us move on to the algorithm of this so in this bloom filter uh, we basically make use of a bloom and a hash function so uh, by the name that is bloom filter it is came from this that is a bloom a vector will be there and a hash function will be there so we take two elements that is a bloom filter b uh, it will be a vector of m number of bits and k independent hash functions would be there now this hash function will map uh, from h1 to hk and each of this map uh, elements uh, to u that is a universal set and we maintain a record of this uh, m elements as rm and will compute the values from 0 1 up till m minus 1 uh, next so we'll start the algorithm initially uh, all the bits in the bloom filter that is b uh, we set it as 0 uh, next we insert uh, the element x from the sample set s uh, now where will we insert this x so obviously this has to be inside the hash function so we have to compute the hash function that is h1x h2s up till hkx uh, but for simplicity purpose we will consider only two hash functions so it will be like for uh, simple and smaller calculations uh, and uh, once you compute this hash function uh, we calculate the set that is uh, bloom filter that is b is a vector in fact uh, b h1 x is equal to b h2 x up till b h k x we set it as 1 so this is the inserting or the insertion of the elements uh, into the bloom filter first we insert it to the hash function and then from hash function we insert it to the bloom filter that is b next uh, once you do the insertion next you have to query if that particular x which you have inserted into the sample s belongs to uh, the sample or not that is a universal set and then uh, this querying is basically uh, running this step two so we will check whether each of these elements are uh, belonging to that particular sample or not and if the answer comes out to be yes then we can say that uh, it is a member of set means that IP address is valid member of that set else if answer is no then we can state that it is not a member of set 
so this is the algorithm of bloom filter uh, in detail next uh, when we talk about the applications so uh, this bloom filter uh, in the earlier it was used like in the 80s and 90s uh, this concept of bloom filter existed but it was not uh, far like uh, flourish so at that time it is uh, used as a spell set there and in the late 90s and the 2000s uh, this was used for the uh, password like the list of forbidden passwords it used to keep like one out of 1000 like it is very small means out of a very 1000 set only a uh, one or only a few number of or we can say at least a one password is forbidden because of it some uh, characters or the features which is not matching now talking about the most modern applications of bloom filter we use it in the modern network routers the adsl routers uh, all these things uh, we use make implement of the bloom filter so uh, next uh, is the capturing of the ip address or the ip packets for transmission and reception and also the cached uh, data which we are getting from this so bloom filter is used for that also and moreover it also gives the statics of the denial of service attacks that we are getting from the uh, bloom filter next we take an example like for example uh, we have a particular site for example in wikipedia this site consists of many number of links from many languages and so there will be a web crawler uh, which will initiate a bot or to crawl this site now initially when the user first uh, clicks on this site or browses on this site uh, the bots from its uh, local machine will start capturing all the IP address and the clicks or the hits which you are getting and it will store this uh, links at some particular cache in its uh, local memory now uh, when this user after at some point of time or at later point of time when this user uh, visit this site again and again or for the second time or the third time then it should not store this same thing or the same page indexed page again and again now that makes no sense and it will make the things bulkier and it will make more costlier the storage will also increase uh, their budget and so uh, this bloom filter concept is used in the network routers and so it will filter out those results and those pages which are there in its local machine and it will uh, like faster loading of the uh, pages and the data which we are seeing Obviously, uh, if we uh, flush out this cache, then it will have to again index and then it will have to again store this data. Now, talking about the uh, cons of this uh, Bloom filter is that since uh, we can see at step 2, we can insert elements that is X into S. But Bloom filter concept does not allow for deletions of the elements into the Bloom filter since it is a vector. Since in vector only insertions are allowed, deletions are not allowed. So, that is one big disadvantage of this bloom filter and so if redundancies are created means like valid IP address is there but it's there for second time or third time or if it is repeated for n number of times then that will create a false positive in the filter but uh, smaller false positives are uh, negotiated and it is not considered or ignored so this is the bloom filter algorithm in detail hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.